If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use Kapoodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today we're going to be going over Wild Card Wednesday. Now, Wild Card Wednesday is not your typical typical wild card Wednesday it actually is going to be house rules instead of players like no heavyweights flashbacks veterans you know the usual power-ups the random drops instead we will be getting that so that's exciting we haven't gotten a regular style just you know house rules besides like a seasonal house rules in such a long time so it's about time they finally went ahead and they actually did that so I'm super excited to go through it all but guys before we get into the video make sure you're down below if you want a chance to join the Poodle Squad Comment down below, Poodle Squad, like the video, and of course, turn on the noti bell. Once you do all those things, you're entered for a chance to be shouted out. And for today's shout out, we have Chad M. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Greatly appreciate you for coming out each and every video, showing some support. And uh, yeah, it's about it for that, guys. Now, in terms of this, I'm excited that we do get a house rules. Another course, it's going to be some free stuff, some free rewards you can probably see on the screen. And uh, we do have a few other announcements, so stay tuned for that as well. But overall, definitely exciting. Now, before we get into this, I do want to make the other announcement. Uh, the Series 1, we're like, well, Series 1 for the 50 players are going to be in packs. So, like, the, the first team, oh, sorry, second team, they're going to be in, in packs, their power-ups. So, if you guys are looking to power them up, you know, they were always so expensive. They will be joining packs soon. So, that's pretty good. So, like, the, you know, like, that's like Reggie Bush and stuff who had all those expensive power-ups. Now, of course, their power-ups did go down because that free pack, but then they rose again. But overall, their power-ups should finally be cheap enough to be affordable, which kind of sucks to do this now because, of course, you know, people aren't maybe using them as much. But either way, that is definitely important. So that's definitely exciting, guys. If you also want to see some of my next-gen uh, impressions, guys, make sure to check that video out from yesterday. I did post the next-gen Madden impressions. And not the next-gen game, just Madden on the next-gen in general. Now, so if you guys want to go check that out, of course, um, definitely some exciting stuff there. But again, let's move on to the house rules for this week. So we got Double Trouble. So Double Trouble, lead by 14 points, 2 points on 20-yard plays, and 2 points on tackle for losses and interceptions. So you have, to, you have to be up by 14 to win. The second you get 14, you win. But again, if you go down the field and you make, you know, one or two 20-yard plays, that's four points. If you um, score, it's an additional seven, let's just say. So you're already up 11. And then the other and then the other side, all you got to do is stop the running back or sack him twice, and then you get it. So again, it could be a very long game or a very quick game. Because remember, if they come back out now and uh, they have a 20-yard pass and then they have this thing and then before you know it, they're tied with you and then you come out and they sack you now they're up. This game could definitely keep prolonging for a while, which is the only thing that kind of sucks. But if you play it right, you definitely can go through this. Pretty simply. Now, here are the uh, here are the objectives. Five wins, four get a player packs. Ten wins, four get a player packs. Fifteen wins, two get a gold packs. Twenty wins, and one pro fantasy pack. Twenty-five wins, a nat 90 overall wild card fantasy pack. Now, that's kind of exciting, guys, because that is a 90 overall player from any wild card week. So, I'm going to show you guys some more screenshots here as we move on over. So, for this, it's 30 wins, it's 45 series trophies, and 5,500 coins. 35 wins, 45 series trophies. Sorry, 45 series three trophies, and 7,000 coins. And then 40 wins is 45 series three trophies and 10,000 total coins. So that's not bad at all. It's a pretty good, pr pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think the trophies and the coins are worth it to play an additional 15 games. I'd probably just take my nat overall fantasy pack and then just go ahead with that. And as a fantasy pack, so you can choose, guys. So that is pretty awesome that you're not going to be stuck with one. Because, of course, there's a lot of bad heavyweights, a lot of bad flashbacks. There's some good ones. I'd probably lean more towards the heavyweight and rising star side of the thing, though. Because, like, of course, you can't go wrong with, like, a heavyweight lineman that can just slot in. Or, you know, like a Derwin James, maybe. Now, here's what the pack will look like. The Double Trouble 25 wins packs. So you see of uh, Adrian, uh, Adrian Amos, CJ Mosley. Amos is actually really good. So, take a look at him. Alex Mack, Grady Jarrett. We got Demarcus Lawrence, Jarrell Casey, Patrick uh, Ricard. And I'm pretty sure that's Kenny Clark right there. Uh, yeah, we got Mary, uh, Mario Addison. Now, there's plenty of stuff that you can really be choosing from here. Again, overall, there's so much of it, right? So... I probably won't be making a video on the best one to pick. I mean, you can just look and kind of figure out, again, who you think is the better one for your team. But again, like I said, there's a few good ones. Um, definitely take a look at some linemen. Take a look at some, uh, like, Adrian Amos, who's a really good, really good budget safety right now, user-wise. But this is definitely one of the better wildcard Wednesdays we've had. The other ones are just card drops. We got a free player today, which always is, you know, it's, you can never go wrong with a free player, right? So I'm definitely excited that we are getting a free player in that, you know, in that aspect. Hopefully... Hopefully, this isn't the end of house rules. Now, my, my initial opinion has been that the reason we've lacked house rules is because they've been saving it for next gen. Like, that's when they're going to go all out with their content. I've been hoping, again, probably let down. But that's, that's kind of been my, my initial thoughts on, on the topic. Hopefully, that is what they end up deciding to do there. Hopefully. But moving on from that, guys, of course, uh, the Madden Club Championship Souls as well are, I believe you can go ahead. And if you guys didn't watch stream today, they pretty much went over them. 
Make sure you're playing those solos. I believe they do expire, so make sure you're going through. Right now, there's the Week 1 AFC and NFC West. Uh, tune in November 10th and 11th, starting at 6 p.m. to watch the AFC Club Divisional event. This will be replaced at 11 17. So every week, this will be replaced. So make sure you are going ahead and playing them so you do get the stuff required to get this done. So you don't miss out on your free 95 overall Kyler Murray, Pat P, Chandler Jones, and Larry Fitzgerald. So make sure you're getting that done as well. Now, moving on from right here, guys, that is the final screenshot I had. This one came out a little glitched, actually. We see Ryan Fitzpatrick, Jared Cook, AJ Bouye, Demario Davis. Again, overall, that's pretty much it for that. Come back to the uh, house rules, guys. If you do want to see a best way to finish these house rules, comment down below. Let me know. And if you guys are struggling, I will make a video on it either today or tomorrow. So just ask me down below and let me know. As well as any of that. If you guys have any questions regarding anything with the house rules, let me know. Again, 25 wins may actually take a decent amount of time. Because like I said, uh, a double trouble, the way this is formatted, could really be run up quickly. You know, you run the ball, take a tackle for loss. Now they get two. Third interception, they get two. Then you do it right back. Right? You could really, and you need a 14-point lead. So it's not like you can just score out, score them. Like you literally need to, you need to separate from them. So if you're versus a guy who's pretty equally skilled as you, you probably just want to quit. Don't even bother going 7-7, 14-14, 14-14. You know what I mean? So that's what it for that guys. I mean, overall, the house rules looks it looks cool. Hopefully, we do get more. The reward was modest, right? Nat, nat 90 overall. You can't argue with that. But I'm hoping to see maybe like soon, like a house was like a Nat 93 overall legend or Nat 94 overall legend or Nat 93 out of the 50 player, right? Now, tomorrow we do have the LTDs, guys. Stay tuned for that. Uh, I will have another video coming out later today. And again, like I said, if you want to check out my next-gen impressions, I do have the Xbox Series X now. Go check that out. I dropped a video yesterday going over like my initial thoughts on it and kind of what I thought about it. So make sure to check that out if you haven't already. And real quick, just a weekly reminder for everyone who needs to hear this. Make sure you're playing your Team of the Week solos, guys. Make sure you're playing your Team of the Week solos. I can't tell you how many people have told me they've already missed two or three. Make sure you're getting them done. You don't want to miss out on that free player later in the year. I mean, obviously, if you're a millionaire, you have coins and stuff. It may not be the biggest of deals to you. Some people, that could be the best card in their team. So make sure you're getting that done, guys. And people have been asking about Harvest as well, which I do want to update real quick. So as Harvest goes, guys, it is already the 11th. So I'm I'm leaning towards a date right now. So I think if we don't hear news about it by this week, we're probably not seeing it till the 19th. Uh, 19th at the preview and the 20th on a drop probably. Because, like I said, they usually drop at the end of weeks. So and They haven't really said anything about it yet. So I'm kind of leaning towards probably next uh, next Friday. But again, that's kind of late. I wish they dropped. They used to drop this stuff like back halfway through the month, like the 13th, 14th, and we'd have half a month to enjoy the promo. Now we're getting like, it gets pushed into a week to where everything feels right. You can't even enjoy it, right? Because like, it's so rushed. Like, scary fast, scary strong, scary strong. Everything was dropped in each other. So you're like, oh, I'll wait for scary fast. If you start with a half month promo at 14th, I'm like, you know what? I'll buy a scary tall player. I'll have fun with them for a week. Then, oh, scary fast comes out the 20th. I'll, I'll, I'll get another player. Before you know it, you've rocked with all the players in your team and had some fun with it. Now everything's kind of just like a rush into one little window. I hopefully they, they do change that format uh, for at least the Christmas promo with next gen. Hopefully, you know, next gen is a banger, guys. So as of now, we do have one, two, three, three weeks and two days until next gen, man. So again, everything transfers over. Don't be scared about all that. It's going to be similar, but hopefully, you know, they did make the game a little bit different. Hopefully, again, you know, don't get hopes up. But that's about it, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're into the channel, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what's going on, guys. Let me know what you guys think about you know, the fancy pack, who are you guys going for? And of course, if you want to join the Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on the noti bell, comment down below, Poodle Squad. And lastly, guys, if you need coins for anything, go to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle 50% off. Take advantage of the Halloween and post-Halloween discounts. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.